Hello happy gardeners, welcome back to Stinky Dutch Nursery. We've got Marla on camera again, say hello Marla. Hi. And today we're talking about curry plants. Now they're called curry plants because they smell of... Marla, smell? Smell? And tell me what it smells like. What's that smell like? Curry spice. It smells like curry. Yeah, they're lovely plants. You can use them in food as well. I've never done this myself, but you can. They have beautiful yellow flowers, but these have gone over at the moment. Um, and they've turned into seed. This is what happens. Flowers get pollinated and they turn into seed. This is how plants propagate themselves. And we're going to propagate from this in two different ways. We're going to collect the seed and uh, plant it, and we're also going to be taking cuttings from this, and I'll do that in another video. So first, we need a pot. Now, your pot, I use these, um, research, just a, a, a thing that you get from the supermarket, you'll get mushrooms or something in, and make sure you've got lots of holes for drainage in the bottom, and I've filled it with a seed mix. Have a look at my other, um, YouTube videos, I've done a seed mix. It's a third sand, a third recycled grow bag, and a third topsoil. Now, what we do with our seed mix is we water it first. You don't water it afterwards. These seeds are ever so small, and they will just float around and all go all over the place if you um, water it afterwards. So we're gonna water it before. So Marla, if you can spin down here on the floor, we'll pop it on the floor like that, we'll get the hose, and we will give it a good old soaking like this. There we go. Now, because it's got a lot of sand in it, and um, gritty stuff, that should drain through nicely. And uh, it is, slowly. <laughs> anyway, so there we are. We've got our um, wetted seed compost, and now we are going to collect the seed. If you uh, need glasses, you will need glasses for this thing. Now, Marla, if you can spin in, now all you have to do is sort of pinch off these tops like this and see all these little tiny things with the white fluff behind them, they are the seeds. They are ever so, ever so tiny. Really, really tiny little things. But we're gonna sprinkle a few of those onto our hand like that, yep. Get rid of the big bits. Get rid of the big bits like that. And then we're going to just scatter them like this. Scatter them about a bit. Give them a bit of a mush up. I'll put some more on there. There we go, like that. On top of the soil like this. And there we go. Um, that's it, that is it. Um, take off the big bits, get the fluff, sprinkle it about a bit, and then cover it very lightly with some of your seed compost that's dry. There we go, all right, like that. And then finally, we stick the label in, which I have labeled curry plant, and I've put the date. This is the 6th or the 10th, we're doing it this time of year, all right? So that goes in there like that, and that's it. Now I'm gonna leave that in an unheated greenhouse, and um, in the spring, we should get some um, seeds coming up. Make sure it stays damp or moist. You don't need to overwater these things. You can, you can basically sort of ignore them. Let nature do its thing that it would be doing um, outside. Bit of rain now and again, and they should come up. Anyway, it's been Robbie Phoenix, down at Stinky Dutch Nursery with Marla on camera, showing you how to collect your curry plant seeds and um, get them going in some seed compost. Thanks for watching.